What are y'all doing? I need a drink. What a week. Did I get furloughed? Did I just get furloughed? Stay tuned. So today my company has just announced that they will be laying off 34,000 employees out of 85,000 employees, which are 15,100 will be flight attendants. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm a flight attendant. Welcome to my channel. Welcome Sky Boys and Sky Girls. Welcome back. Oh my God, what a week. Um, I'm here at work in New York City. It's pouring down rain in the heart of summer. I'm stuck in here with this COVID. I'm sick of COVID. I'm sick of this and I'm sick of that. But the straw that broke the camel's back is layoff. But you're probably wondering, did I get laid off? Yes and no. Um, directly, I didn't get laid off, but indirectly, I feel like I did because I've been here long enough where I, I'm not affected, where I would lose my job, but I would stay on and be at the bottom of the list. <clears throat> and if y'all know, being a flight attendant in a union, everything's based on seniority, how long you've been with the company. And even with my 30 something years, that ain't much in my company. We have people who've been flying for 60 years. That means they're in their 80s and they're still flying. They were flying before I was born, people. But um, yeah, so I'll probably be saved but I would be on call. It would be like I'm a new hire. All those 30 years of building up, able to fly what I want to fly, when I want to fly, where I want to fly, will be at the mercy of our scheduling department. Maybe I should take the layoff. Maybe it's the time to take a break and let these young folks do some of that because I know we're going to rebound and bounce back. What I mean by that, the company has offered us also a volunteer furlough that you can take off and you will maintain your seniority, your benefits, uh, everything but a paycheck. And then you can go find another job and then when they're ready to call you back, they will um, start you back to where you were. So you, you're not losing anything, basically it's just a paycheck and they would call back the involuntary furloughs first and then they would call back the volunteer. They're offering like a six months leave and a one year leave. Um, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. You gotta stay tuned to find out. So the only thing is if I take time off, I've already taken a lot of time off already, just not flying as much, maybe once or twice a month. So I felt like I'd been off, but it was just with this COVID that we were able to do anything, so I wasn't ready for this time off, where at least with the volunteer furlough, I can kind of prepare and be ready for it, but I'm gonna have to have a long talk with the husband. You know, it's a family thing, and we have to make sure we agree we're on the same page, but um, I also miss flying. I'm not ready to just take a break. I'm ready to go see the world. So one of the things I'm still hoping, maybe I'm in denial, that the government is probably gonna extend our care package. Back in March, the government had given all the airlines billions of dollars to keep their employees working so they wouldn't have to file for unemployment but saves us taxpayers a lot of money and they're thinking about extending that so that is one of our best case scenarios also there might be a lot of people who volunteer um where so people wouldn't have to involunteer so every volunteer and involuntary person doesn't have to uh take the furlough and then we're getting a lot of those senior moms who've been flying 50 and 60 years they're finally retiring um, they've had enough. They've been through a lot. I've been through a lot and I'm what they call a mid-daddy instead of a senior daddy. Um, this is nothing new to me. I've been through 9-11, which happened in 2001. I've been through when the pilots were on strike. I've been through bankruptcy with my company. I've been with a merger. And every time we've taken a big hit in our core of being a flight attendant. And uh, every time we've bounced back. It feels a little bit different with this virus thing going on because there's no vaccine and people are just afraid to fly. So we gotta get the trust of the public to start flying again so we can get these airlines up and running again. It's not just my airlines. We, we, <clears throat> we were one of the first airlines to announce furloughs, but there's more airlines to come and it ain't looking good, y'all, in the airline industry. Something that I've enjoyed my whole entire life. You know, I've been working for my airlines more than I was born, like 32 
two years is a lot of years. I've seen some things and this too shall pass. So I'm not worried, but in the next video, I will let you guys know what I did. I'm looking more like staying, but um, you never know. You never know what life throws at you. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is you, you gotta live your life to the fullest. You just never know. You're not promised the next day or what's going to happen or when the next virus is around the corner and live your best life. Do you um, get off the news, get off social media, except my channel. <laughs> Continue to watch that and tell a friend and, and share this video. Um, and don't believe everything you hear. Stay away from the rumors. And um, if you have an airline friend, um, give them an extra call because right now they're hurting right now. The unexpected thing about our job the unknowns is killing us it's killing us and I know we're not the only ones who are suffering right now but it's hitting the airline and travel industry hard so um, thankfully I have support and family and a husband a wonderful husband is keeping me focused and grounded and um, just waiting it out um, we will see. With all this time off, I was like, well, maybe I should do another career or something like that. But this is all I know. I'm just like a, a singer or an actor. When, you know, you're an actor. You can't change that profession. It is in me. I've only had one other job, which was working at a grocery store. And I've done like a retail job um, as a second job when I was flying. But I really don't know how it is to be a nine to five person where I have to go to work every single day. Ooh. Give me a chill. Go to work every day. Or have only two days off a week. I don't know how y'all do it. Only have two days off a week. But um, good for you. A lot of people don't realize it's not just a job that we love. You know, I don't like going on the airplane and picking up garbage from strangers and giving me all kinds of virus and saying thank you. And, you know, that's just the job part. But what we fall in love is the lifestyle. We love the lifestyle. I'm in New York City right now. I'm here. And if it wasn't for the rain out here, it's pouring down rain, y'all. I would be out there exploring right now. Um, I did do things yesterday. I got a manicure and pedicure, my very first one since this virus has been kicking in. And it just felt so good to be walking the streets of New York. But look at today, y'all. Look at, look, look, look at this. This is my window. And it's pouring down rain. I got this small little window corner here. So I'm trying to make the best out of it. But um, yeah, that, that's where I am right now. I'm um, working, not pleasure. Um, that's why I'm able to go to New York City. New York is shut down for visitors to come in, only local people, but crew gets an exception. Uh, I'm working tonight. I'm working a late night flight. Um, I get home about 10 p.m. It's the weekend, so we'll see. Um, and then I'm off for the next few days and I have this New York trip all week. But yeah, I'm gonna need a stiff drink. But I'm going to be okay, but I just had to come on the camera and let you guys know what's going on. I'm sure you heard the major news when people lay off almost 40,000 employees. It will make the headline news. And people have been checking up on me and making sure that I'm okay. I'm okay. Doing great. Uh, but thank you guys for checking in. And thank you for watching this video and continue to be loyal. Um, if you want to help me out, one way to help me out is subscribe to this channel. And if you want to help me out even more, make sure you share this video with your friends on your social media plat platform because the more this video is seen, the bigger my channel grows and I can make more content and do all the things. So definitely, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and hit the alert button. For my Sky Boys and Sky Girls, thanks for staying around, watching my silliness. I appreciate you. Um, until the next video, bye girl, bye.